expelled just before graduation. We first brought you the story a couple of weeks ago when that student posted a racist Craigslist ad calling two female classmates slaves. So since then, that incident has put a light on a bigger issue being reported throughout Clay County School District. Our Shelby Danielson brings us this story tonight, all new at six. Parents and students tell us there's ongoing racial tension and even bullying. So we spoke with the superintendent and the principal of Fleming Island High School to find out what's being done about this much larger problem. I know of some instances that have happened that the students have been upset. Unetta Pope's daughter was one of the young women in this racist Craigslist post that has since been taken down. We realize that some of these things were handled quietly. The issue, according to some parents, appears to be district-wide. My son attended another Clay County school and they had incidents, but what I have always been comforted in is as a whole, this is not a county or prior administrations that have ever taken this and condone this. Not condoning it is the message Superintendent Addison Davis sent when he recommended to the board that the latest incident result in an expulsion. They thought it was a joke and it, it's not a joke. It's disheartening. Uh, you know, for any of our kids to be subject to discrimination and not value and celebrate diversity. So they're doing something about it by hosting focus groups, seven different groups for students and two different groups for staff and faculty. This is how those groups are being broken down. It's in order to get them actively engaged and for them to hold their voice. Davis says he's trying to be proactive. Potentially partner with the, the Dolores Barr Weaver uh, Policy Center, which is about uh, celebrating and empowering females and young women. He's also looking to a popular and controversial Netflix series that discusses bullying and suicide in high school. We're going to have staff that's going to watch it so that we can have a better understanding because we have to be able to connect with kids. And if kids are watching this, this type of information, we need to be relevant with them. Do you plan on watching it too? Uh Actually, you piqued my interest when you brought that up. Fleming Island High School principal Thomas Pittman has been sitting in on some of those focus groups to gain perspective from his students. The biggest thing that they brought up was that some of the, the cultures don't know each other's culture. With social media, they don't actually have to face people. And there's a lot, they, they think it's easier to say something behind the walls of their own home or on their own phone. I asked Principal Pittman what they would do with the information they gathered from those focus groups with students and staff. He says his door is always open if parents want to discuss it, but he is open to the possibility of presenting the information on a larger scale to all parents if it came to that. In Fleming Island, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News. So Superintendent Davis says they're also in the process of looking at partnering.